And Frank, it was a Mooney style aircraft. You can see behind me what is left of that aircraft in this strawberry field on the north side of the 101, still smoldering at this hour. Take a look at this footage now so you can see what this looked like in the moments after 8 o'clock when Ventura County Fire Department got alerted and Ventura County Fire Department working in conjunction with the city. And that is when we were alerted and we discovered that this plane was coming from Camarillo Airport was going northbound, was about to go over the freeway when it clipped a building and then landed on this strawberry field. Come back out here so we can see Captain Brian McGrath here with the Ventura County Fire Department now. You're telling me that the likelihood that someone or the people that may have been inside not alive at this hour. Correct. The amount of damage and the extreme heat that was under the fire from that plane, there would be nothing survivable in that plane. However, because of investigation purposes, we cannot confirm what is in the plane just yet. So coroner on its way here to the scene now. Now there were people at that hour working in the strawberry field. Do we have any indication that other people who were outside of the plane may have been injured or died? Luckily, right now, there was nobody that was working in that direct vicinity, so there was no other injuries other than whoever was in the plane. Okay. Weather conditions. I know when I was driving this way and I was coming from the San Gabriel Valley this morning, the fog was thick, but this was before the sun was, you know, as the sun was coming up. What was it like around that 8 o'clock hour when this plane was in the air? Around the 8 o'clock hour, I happened to be at Cameron Airport, and the fog had lifted quite a bit. There was pretty good visibility out. Is this common? Is this uncommon in this area? Talk to me about, I mean, there are lots of fields in this area of Ventura. Uh, this is not a very common thing to happen out of a, our camera airport or even our Oxnard airport. Uh, the seems like the pilots are very diligent about flying. And when the, at this particular airport, we do have a, a tower that monitors it. Got it. Mooney style plane. When you guys told me that this morning, what else can you tell me about the number of passengers that could have been inside, including the pilot? Well, looking at the plane and investigating that, that style of plane, it looks like it could have up to four, but because of a personal plane, we don't know how they might have modified the inside. Okay. Your message to commuters this morning on the 101? Uh, as you travel to the 101 through, uh, through Ventura County, particularly here in Oxnard and Del Norte, uh, you will see some lights along the side of the freeway. We're still investigating, and you're going to see a lot of investigators around the area. Please be safe. Have a good situational awareness. Just in case someone happens to be walking around, pay attention as always. Put your phone down and pay attention to the roadway. Do we know if there are any shutdowns along the 101 because of this plane crash? Uh, the 101 is all the way open now. Uh, it was closed temporarily, but now we're all the way open. Okay, you heard it here. The 101 all the way open this morning in Ventura. Thank you so much for your time. Again, another look at what is left of that plane as the farm workers here continue to work on this Friday morning. That is the very latest. I'm Megan Tellis. I'll send it back to you guys in Hollywood.